and welcome to another episode of Mrs. Patrick's Neighborhood. I'm your host, Mrs. Patrick. This week, we are going to talk about emotions. Emotions are the feelings that we have inside us. Sometimes we feel angry, sad, happy, excited, or even tired. Some of those emotions you might know, and some you might not. It's important that we know when we're angry, so that way we can use things like tuck and breathe, or other ones like counting to 10 to make sure that we calm down. But first, let's get to know one of our teachers. This week, our teacher is the amazing art teacher, Miss Schooler. What is Mrs. Schooler's favorite color? Is it A, pink, B, teal, C, orange, or D, purple? Which one do you think? My favorite color is teal, or a mixture of blue and green. Thanks, Miss Schooler. And now it's time for our story of the week. This week, our story is called Red, Red, Red by Polly Dunbar. As you can see right here, what emotion do you think this kid is feeling? Yeah, I think this child is really angry. And when this child's really angry, they see the color red in their mind. So we're going to read about this child and see what they do when they see red. Look, I spy the biscuit jar. I'll get it down. It's not too far. If I just climb, stretch, reach, and jump, nearly, nearly. Crash, bang, bump. Oh, little one, says my mom. You banged your head. That's not much fun. Yes, I had a bump. It made me cry. The biscuit jar was up too high. My socks are down. My pants are twisted. I want, I want, I want a biscuit. You notice too how the little squiggly above there, above his head keeps getting bigger and bigger? What kind of, what do you think he's feeling right now? Yeah, I think he seems angry too. Put me down. Don't stroke my hair. I want a biscuit. Don't you care? The lid is on and I'm not strong. Everything is wrong, wrong, wrong. Rah! I scream. Grah! I roar. Whoomp, whoomp, wah, wah, I hit the floor. Watch me while I bang my head, cause now I'm seeing red, red, red. Oh, little one, says my mom, please don't scream, please don't roar. It doesn't help to hit the floor. I know you're seeing red, 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 but why not count to 10 instead? Start with one, then two, then three. You can do it, count with me. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then three. Phew. Look, my socks are up. My pants are untwisted. 
It must be time to eat that biscuit. A little nibble, a little bite. Let's see if I can get this right. One, two, three, yum. Four, five, six, um. Mm. Seven, eight, nine, wow. There's only one more bite to come. And look, my biscuit is yum, yum. Gone, but that's okay. One more for me and one for you. My mom says, mwam, and I say, I love you too. So he found out that even when he was seeing red and he was really angry, that counting to 10 really helped him. Wow, what a great story. Now it's time to see Snail, Pudge, and Frog and see how they deal with their emotions. Ribbit, ribbit. Hi, kids. Today we are going to talk about emotions. I get really confused about emotions. I can't understand when people feel mad and when people feel sad. How can I know? I know, I'm going to call my friend Snail. Can you guys help me? Snail! Snail? Oh, I think he's coming now. <coughs> oh, Snail, they won't hurt you, come on. I need your help. Ah! Oh, come on, Snail. Will you guys help me? Say, come on, Snail. Oh, I remember you guys. Oh, I'm sorry I was so scared. That's okay, Snail. I need your help. Can you help me with emotions? Sure, I can. Knowing how people feel and what their emotion is, is looking at their body language. What's body language? It means, what is my body doing? What's my face doing? And my, uh, well, I don't have any hands. And my voice, and, um, what? It's okay, Snail. It's okay. Oh, okay. Well, look at my face and my voice. And those will help you tell you how I'm feeling and what my emotion is. Let's practice. Okay. Okay. Here I go. <sighs> oh, let me think. While your face is all squished up and you growled, so I think you are mad! That's right! Good job, Frog! Let's go find another friend and see how they feel. Okay. Oh, okay. There's Pug. Oh, Frog, this is your chance. You go and tell me what you think. Well, he looks like he has a frown on his face. And he looks like his head is down, so I think he's sad. You're right. You should go see what you can do to help him. Okay. Pudge, you look like you are sad. Oh, yeah. What's wrong? Well, I found out I can't go to my see my friend Tiger this weekend. And that made me sad. Oh, well, do you want to play a game with me now? Maybe that will cheer you up. Well, okay. What do you want to play? Let's play hide and go seek. Okay. I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I... Where did they go? Hmm. Do you see him? 
I'll go look! Tell me if you see him! What? Did you see him? Where did he go? Oh, okay, I'll go look for him. What? Did you guys see him? Oh, I guess I better go look for him. Bye, guys! Wow, thanks, Pudge, Snail, and Frog. Now we have a special treat this week. We are talking about recognizing emotions. I have asked a couple of our teachers to show us an emotion, and you guys are going to guess what they're feeling. Let's get started. What emotion do you think Mr. Stecker is showing? Is he mad, sad, happy, or excited? What is your guess? Mr. Stecker is showing us he is sad. What emotion is Dr. Niemeyer showing? Is she sad, mad, or surprised? What is your guess? She is showing us that she is surprised. What emotion is Miss Schooler showing? Does she look mad, sad, or happy? What is your guess? She looks like she is mad. Well, that's all the time we have to, for this week. Tune in next week for another episode of Mrs. Patrick's Neighborhood. Bye, guys.